Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jake with Pac-Man Sports, and you know I had to make a video on this. This is a big piece of news, and this was expected to happen. Um, Aaron was not going to drag things out on making his decision to whether he wanted to remain with the Green Bay Packers or go play elsewhere. Uh, ultimately, he has made the decision, and he is back with the Green Bay Packers. This tweet here started up with Ian Rappaport giving us the news that he signed a four-year deal worth up to $200 million with $153 million of that guaranteed. Uh, but, yeah, this is just amazing. Uh, all i got to say is that everybody, in, just about everybody in Packer Nation is probably pretty excited to hear this news. The contract is pretty hefty. Um, but I know that this is going to be good for the short term for 2022. The Packers are going to make sure that his base salary is generally pretty small, and the signing bonus will probably be spread out through, throughout the duration of the contract. So, to say the least, this is going to be good for now. Uh, this is really, truly making sure the Packers are going to go all in for another year for that Super Bowl. Uh, and there's also news of Devontae Adams. He's probably no doubt going to get the franchise tag. The deadline is set to expire very soon as I'm speaking. I'm pretty sure that the franchise tag will be slapped on for Devontae and the Packers are going to try to work on a long-term contract with him because it's unlikely that Devontae is going to want to play on the franchise tag. Not any player really does, as we know. Um, but this is just very exciting news. If you're a Green Bay Packers fan, Denver Broncos fans, I'm pretty sure, are very disappointed in it, but they're not going to land Aaron. But there is some potential uh, of them getting Russell Wilson. It sounds as if that there is a deal in place and the Broncos are going to land a quarterback. Um, so, But back to the news with Aaron. Uh, this is just great. I am this all this basically guarantees Aaron staying in Green Bay until he retires. So this is just fantastic. As a Packers fan, I'm very excited for uh, for what's going to happen this year and future years. I know that things are probably going to look pretty tough for pretty tough cap wise in 2023 and beyond. But we will we don't really know the details of the contract yet. We will find out in the upcoming uh, days of what the contract is going to look like. I'm gonna do my uh, research and see what the contract is going to look like and then I'll post it probably on the community tab to see what the contract details look like but there was this tweet put out by Aaron Rodgers um, disputing this tweet put out by Ian Rappaport uh, saying that he didn't uh, didn't necessarily agree to the details of the contract here uh, his, here's this tweet hey everyone just wanted to clear things up yes I'll be playing with the Packers next year However, reports about me signing a contract are inaccurate, as are the supposed terms of the contract I signed. I'm very excited to be back. Hashtag year 18. So this contract that was supposedly put out by Ian Rappaport may not be true. Maybe Aaron is taking a little bit less. Maybe, maybe the duration of the contract is not going to be four years. It could be two years, three years. Uh, we will see in the upcoming in the upcoming days to see what the contract is really uh, what it's really about maybe it could be true uh, maybe there could be more guaranteed money um, we will see and I'll keep you posted up on that but I'm just very excited to report to you guys that Aaron is here to stay and he is pretty much locked into being a Green Bay Packer for the rest of his career um, this is just awesome and I'll catch you guys later for another one. Go Pack Go!